What's going on guys, it's Jake here, and in this video I'll be going over what the best cards and just overall setups are for the four different classes in Star Wars Battlefront. But before I get into it, if you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and let me know below what your favorite class is. But anyways, getting into it, so I have here the Assault class, and as you can see I have all the cards unlocked and I have them upgraded all the way. And then also if you go to the weapons here, I do have all the weapons as well I'm using the fourth one right now but getting to the cards first so assault training gain a small amount of health for each enemy defeated i feel as if that's the best one far by far and once you upgrade it all the way you get 40 health per person that you kill and this is one of the first ones you get another one that's really good in the beginning especially is uh resourcefulness and this is all your abilities have shorter recharge times and i'm sorry this one actually takes a little longer to unlock but I mean, honestly, a lot of these first ones right here, I don't really like a whole lot of them. Like, Survivalist isn't bad. Health Regeneration is just delayed a little bit. <clears throat> Survivalist isn't bad if you're just kind of first uh, starting out the game. But overall, Resourcefulness as well as Survivalist. And then also some of the other ones, if you're looking for battle points, aren't bad either. And moving on to the actual ability cards, Toughen Up, in my opinion, is a really good one. It just simply gives you almost like a stim shot. Um, a lot of the other ones aren't that good, like I don't really use the scan dart or I don't really need to upgrade my grenades or anything like that. I don't really want to give that up, but some of the vanguard ones are really, really good if you do use that vanguard shotgun. So these can be very, very deadly. You can only equip one at a time, but they can be very, very good. Or actually, I believe you, or yeah, I'm not sure if you can equip one at a time or not, but either way, um, each one of these individually can all be really really good if you are good with that vanguard so you can only go one boost card and two ability cards but i honestly prefer to go the ability cards after that it is going to be the heavy so with the heavy here um as you can see i haven't unlocked everything yet for this one because i kind of somewhat recently started using it i'm on the second gun um i don't know if the other ones are better or not but from what i've seen they're all it just kind of depends how you want to use it actually but right now i do like the second one and currently i have resourcefulness all your abilities have shorter recharge times this one's really good obviously because with the heavy i use my abilities more a lot of people like the brawler one not a big fan you know bodyguard that one's just kind of a good one at the beginning and then bounty hunter obviously for any class if you're just going to get those battle points that's going to help and then i believe survivalist is pretty good for pretty much all the classes that it's available for just because it helps with the health regen so you definitely could go with this heavy class also one boost card to ability because typically with the heavy i'm using it for their abilities more than any other class so the improved sh combat shield's really good to start off with um, besides that, the torpedo is good for destroying vehicles, but that's it. You can only lock on the vehicles. And then also you have some cert different sentry options. So I think mobile and supercharged are the best by quite a bit, but you really can use whatever you want. Um, survivalist as well as resourcefulness are really good. And then you could either equip one or two ability cards, depending on how many times you want to boost them or not. You know, the barrage is pretty good down there or, what, or whatever the name of that one is, the bottom right one or bottom left one, I should say. But uh, the ion torpedo is really good for against tanks and vehicles. But other than that, um, it's kind of up to you. I would definitely just stick with resourcefulness or survivalist. And then in terms of weapons, like I said before, I don't have them. Um, I only have two unlocked for this class, but I do like the second one. Moving on next is going to be the Officer. So Officer, again, Survivalist, regardless of what class you're using, is really good. Resourcefulness is also good. And then the Bounty Hunter can be really good for the Officer because you do get the most skill points just in general, or just, I guess, from base stats with the Officer because it's just super easy to get that. Then if we go down to the ability cards, uh, Improved Battle Command is really good because it basically just gives you and the people around you a little bit of extra health. And then the Recharge Command is also good, as well as the Blast one. It just kind of depends what you're doing. But for starting off, you may want to consider the Blast Command. And also, the Squad Shield and Improved Blaster Turret can be very, very good. Um, the Homing Shot, I haven't really used this one, but it actually does look kind of good, and I have definitely gotten killed by it before. But on the Blaster Turret, upgraded all the way, can be really, really good. And I think I'm actually going to try out the Homing Shot a little bit. Not one that I've used, but um, the blaster turret and the shield can be good depending on what you're kind of doing. If you're doing something maybe you're, where you're like trying to protect something, the squad shield can be really good because it obviously is just going to block everything. Then in terms of weapons, I prefer the third one right now. I haven't unlocked the fourth. The second gun I did not like at all. I thought it was really bad. I'm not sure if anyone else likes that one, but uh, the third one by far, the Blurg. 
um, in my opinion, is one of the best. Haven't unlocked any of the mods for it yet, but uh, might try to do that soon. Then last but not least is the Specialist. So I guess this kind of is least because I actually do not like the Specialist class. Um, there's a lot of people who use it and who are good at it, but at this point I am not a big fan of it. I don't really like it a lot, but the NT-242, that last sniper, is by far the best sniper. So it does take a bit of grinding to get to that one. So um, I don't really have many cards, boost, or ability cards unlocked here. As you can see, I'm only like level 13. So, you know, the two are just two basic ones, Bounty Hunter, as well as one that improves my grenades. Um, some of the later ones might be good, depending on how you use this class, but I'm just not really a big fan. But other than that, those are the four classes, guys. Uh, so definitely let me know in the comment section what your favorite class is or what maybe some of your best cards are. These are just kind of the ones I prefer. And also, if you are new to the channel, uh, definitely subscribe and talk about video games, Battlefront, you know, whatever video games I'm just currently playing. So definitely feel free to subscribe for more content. And also, um, definitely feel free to hit that like button if this video helped you at all. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.